Buckle up, buckaroos, it's time for some news. Ladies and gentlemen, have I got an info-packed video for you? It's practically bursting at the seams. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to complete the last word quest. Draw, alien punk. I feel as though I should say something about acquiring bread, so bread acquired. Now, what other baked goods are there? There's a baguette. What else? Greg's ham and cheese pasty. So, yeah, that'll do. Non bread. Now we can move on, you bastards. And check it out, the rather tasty Laconic Weapon Ornament. Bungie released some interesting info about this weapon skin, which we'll discuss later. Bungie has also buffed old supers, including the Golden Gun. Kills now return a bullet to the magazine, allowing you to pull off some naughty little killing sprees. This hunter racked up 11 shots. And there's more. Bungie has made a huge change to the Whisper Quest. The Queen has, well, she's effed right off, but the question is, where the hell is she gone? There's some Crimson Days changes you need to know about, Plus a crimson loot leak. Yes, that's a chocolate ghost shell. There's also some very important information about hoarding bounties. If you want to hit next season's power cap, which is 700 by the way, as quickly as possible, you want to hear this. Plus, look who's back. Thorn. Oh yes, indeedy. Destiny's most iconic weapon returns to inject a little poison in our lives. All this and much more. So without further ado, let's effing well do this. Okay then, so let's kick things off with a last word question. Quest, visit the Drifter to get your first assignment. Now this step basically requires you to kill a load of Hive, including three Hive bosses. Now this lost sector on Mars is a nice way to farm Hive kills, although Escalation Protocol is just as effective. Now part of this quest step involves getting Hive solar kills, which gives you the perfect opportunity to test out the new Golden Gun buff. Kills return a bullet to the magazine so you can go on a nice little tear up when there's lots of enemies grouped together. For a full list of all the changes Bungie's made to supers, check out the link in the description box below. But yeah, this goldie buff is a welcome addition indeed. Now, if you're not a fan of the Crucible, the next step ain't gonna be fun. You need to get Crucible kills, but if you get killed, you lose progress, mate. So I basically cheated. I used Blade Barrage with Shards of Galena in Mayhem. Now, the Shards of Galena got nerfed. Killing stuff now returns less of your super, but that seems to have zero effect in Mayhem. One kill with Shards and you get an instant super regen. So yes, yeah, suck my Barrage balls. Now, I got my last kill on someone using no Nova Warp, which made it all the more sweeter because Nova Warp can get effed right in the A. Next up, you've got to complete the Damnation quest on Titan. It's only 500 power, so it's not that hard. Now, in order to take down the boss's shields, you'll need to eliminate the Hive Wizards. The Wizards spawn in pairs, so locate both of them and burn them to the ground. You'll need to do this a few times because the boss's shields keep regenerating. Once you've taken down enough Wizards, you can then finish off the boss. And yeah, that's this quest step done and dusted. Well done, let's move on to the next quest step. Now, this step comes in four parts. Collect etched crystals by killing wanted lost sector bosses, earn best surf cold and blood for blood medals in the crucible, kill hive with precision shots to collect hive worms, and complete three hive ritual public events. Now this same lost sector on Mars, called Terminus, is a good place to kill two birds with one stone. So yeah, in this lost sector you can get precision shots on hive to collect the worms and kill the wanted lost sector boss at the end for the etched crystals. Keep farming until you've completed these two parts of the quest. Now the witches ritual public events spawn in two locations on Titan as you can see here and the other one on Mars in this location. You basically have to wait until these public events appear. And once you've completed three heroic witches rituals public events you can now move on to getting those crucible medal kills. Now to get the best served cold medal you need to kill the enemy who just killed you. For the blood for blood medal you need to kill an enemy who just killed a teammate. And now dear friends you can complete the final quest step the conversation. Again it's only 500 power so the fact that you have to solo it isn't really a big deal. Now by far the most fun part of this quest is the end in which you take part in a western style shootout with Encar the Hive Weapon Master. You need to shoot the enemies in the order they spawn in and you have to be precise. When the enemy draws its gun you need to shoot its weapon to stop it from killing you. Once you've dispatched all three assailants the last word is yours. Here it is in action. What a 
about the Last Words new weapon skin? How do you get it? Well, according to Bungie, the Laconic skin is currently exclusive to the Prismatic Matrix, but it will be added to Bright Engram sometime in the future. No exact date was given. So yeah, if you want a chance to grab this skin, your only opportunity for now at least is to hit up the Prismatic Matrix. Now, just in case you didn't know, you can actually get a free Prismatic facet from this Eververse bounty, and this basically allows you one free Prismatic Matrix activation. So yeah, good luck. And guys, check this out. From here on in, the Whisper Quest will be available every single day from any public event that spawns in the Lost Oasis on IO. Check it out. And that's not the only exotic quest news we have. Bungie also briefly teased the Thorn in their latest trailer. Now the Thorn will have its own exotic quest in the season of the Drifter, check it out. So yeah, every hero needs a villain. Now we already have our hero, last word. And now we're getting the villain, Thorn. As you can see from this screenshot, those are clearly Thorn's poisonous projectiles. And you'll be able to embed these nasty bullets into your enemy's flesh in the season of the Drifter. Now this new season, which launches alongside the Joker's Wild DLC sometime in March, will bump up the max power level to 700, which brings me nicely onto my next point. Now it used to be that players would save up bounties that drop powerful gear from the current season, so that when a new season launched, along with a new max power cap, they could then cash in those bounties and gain an instant power boost. It gave those players an edge over those who didn't save up their bounties. Well, that's no longer an option. If you carry over a bounty from the current season of the Forge and then claim it during the new season of the Drifter, you'll receive gear with the old season's max power of 650. Only bounties acquired after the new season begins will drop items with a new max power cap of 700. In fact, holding on to old bounties could negatively affect your power progression in the new season. Why? Because these old old bounties will lock you out of the new season's version of the bounty, and you'll be stuck with garbage loot. So in short, do not carry over bounties. Complete them or dismantle them before the new season begins. Now we still have one last event to go in this current season of the Forge before we enter the new season of the Drifter, Crimson Days. Now this event was originally scheduled to go live February 5th, but Bungie has changed the launch date to February 12th, and it will last a week until February 19th. So then what about the Crimson loot? Well, according to Bungie, you'll be able to earn all the loot from the last Crimson event. That's all the stuff you see here. Three exotic weapon ornaments, an exotic emote and sparrow, and a whole heap of ghost shells and shaders. But there will be new Crimson items to grind for too. This is the exotic sugary shell, which you'll earn by completing Crimson exclusive triumphs. And this ghost will grant you 10% XP increase from all activities. And check it out, old Shaxipu will reward this 650 power solar bow, the Vow, to anyone able to prove their perfect union in the Crucible. You'll need to team up with a partner and speak to old Shaxi Plops. Sounds like Crimson Doubles is back on the menu. And this weapon also has an ornament, Shot Through the Heart. You'll find this ornament in the Dress to Thrill bundle, a one-time Crimson Days bundle for Guardians who want to look their best for their Crimson Bond. There's also a new exotic emote called Tiny Bow. Now it appears that this exotic emote is locked behind a paywall. You'll be able to acquire it if you purchase the Love Struck bundle. This is a one-time Crimson bundle for Guardians who want to spread the love. Now let's go pay the Queen a visit. She's been acting all weird, but then again, what's new? She's always been an absolute nut job. Okay then, let's see what she's up to. When there is too much darkness in the universe, light must cast it away. And when there is too much light, darkness must drown it out. This truth is our burden. This is what it is to be awoken. I dreamt of a friend I will come to have. She will tell me a side should always be taken. Even if it's the wrong side, I think I should like her. The next act is about to begin, and I do not know when I will return. Fear nothing. Bow to no one. We will meet again. 
one day. So then, the queen has dreamt of a friend that tells her a side should be taken, even if it's the wrong side. Now, if that line sounds familiar, it's because it's been used before. Check it out. A side should always be taken, little light. Even if it's the wrong side. So yeah, the plot thickens, Prince Emo is back from the dead, and the Queen is having weird dreams about a long forgotten character in Destiny 1. Bungie, what the hell is going on? Well, if you'd like a glimpse into Destiny's future, you're in luck. I've already made a video about what you can expect from Bungie in the months and years to come. Simply click the on-screen image to watch it. Thanks for tuning in guys, and we'll speak again soon.